Welcome everybody, I'm Fabio Viviani and this is Fabio's Kitchen, where every week I'm bringing you a simple dish made by me. One of the greatest ways to improve a great dish like risotto is to cook that with red wine instead of water or broth. Now, it makes it for a very showcase piece, kind of a wow effect, and it's gonna boost the flavor by a thousand. In order to make a great risotto though, you have to layer the actual dish with some flavors. In this case, we're gonna have onion and garlic as a base. So we're gonna caramelize the onion and the garlic for like, not very long. I like some of the texture inside. And I'm gonna add a little bit of butter, which will make our risotto a lot creamier and a lot smoother. Now this might seem a lot of fat for someone, but I'll show you now what we need to do and why we do that. So now that you are cooking the onion and the garlic with the fat, you have to think that your risotto, your rice, is full of starches. Look, as a matter of fact, check my fingers. See they're white? This white dust, it's starch. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna add all this starch to this fat and let the risotto absorb it. This is the perfect rice to do that because it's Arborio risotto. Arborio is a high starch content rice from Italy. It's very traditional. And it's the perfect risotto rice because it makes it super creamy. See that? It makes it super creamy without the addition of a heavy cream. Look at that, beautiful. Now, I'm gonna add a little bit of walnuts to it. Walnut risotto. Pinch of salt. A bit of pepper. And now, Get yourself a good non-stick. If you use non-stick cookware, your risotto experience will be much better because you don't need to stir mm -hmm. it for 20 minutes. Now we're gonna add the wine. <laughs> now naturally, wine has spirit in it. And these will evaporate in a few seconds and it will keep cooking like a broth. Now we're gonna add a little bit more wine to it. And once the wine is completely reduced, the risotto will be cooked. Be right back. All right guys, when rice is cooked, you're gonna see actually holes of broth coming through the rice. It's gonna look thick, it's gonna look lucid, just like that. It's gonna taste awesome. At this point, I'm adding some cheese. I'm adding more walnuts. And I'm gonna leave some for garnish. Look at that, beautiful.
And the proper risotto, when you shake the plate, it needs to relax. Look. Like that. Perfect. A few more walnuts on top. Nice red color. Now the selection of the wine is important for the risotto. In this case, I'm using Fatty Pope. It's my own red blend. Great, strong, important wine. Will give the rice a beautiful red color. And the risotto is al dente, which means it's to the tooth. It's not overcooked. Risotto almost, you don't have to chew it, but when you bite into it, it has to offer some resistance there. And this, it's the perfect dish to impress your diners. You're watching Fabio's Kitchen. We got red wine risotto with walnuts and cheese. Hey guys, now that you've watched, you know this is a good recipe. How about you go share it for once?